In postulate 8, we start talking about planes. Now remember, planes are a flat surface that extends forever in all directions. So think about a floor, but if that floor went on forever. What postulate 8 tells me is that if I have three non-collinear points, and it's very important then that these points be non-collinear, then there exists exactly one plane that contains all three points. So plane M contains points A, B, and C. The reason that these points have to be co non-collinear is we can imagine if we had two collinear points, A and B, which lie on line AB. We could draw this plane that contains points A and B. We could also draw another plane that contains points A and B. We end up being able to send infinitely many planes through points A and B. So to have a unique plane, to have exactly one plane, we need three non-collinear points. This brings us to postulate 9, which is similar to postulate 8. They go together. Postulate, postulate 9 tells me that given any plane, a plane will contain at least three non-collinear points. So plane N contains points X, Y, and Z. Let's look then at postulate 10. And postulate te 10 tells me if I have a plane and two points within that plane. So we can imagine having a piece of paper as our plane and drawing two points on it. The line that connects those points must also lie in the plane. So plane M contains points A and B. This means that then plane M contains line AB. And finally, our last new postulate. If two planes intersect, so let's think about how we can draw this. OK, we have two intersecting planes, plane M and plane N. Where they intersect is exactly one line. Line L is the line of intersection for planes M and N. And what you can think about is think about a box. Actually, this will be a wonderful image to have. With a box, we have planes. Well, we have segments of planes. But we can imagine looking at our front face and looking at the side face of our box and noticing that they intersect at this corner here, which is a line. So any two planes, if those planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Based on what we've talked about now, actually, let's have a brief side topic. So this will be something good to have in your notes. For intersections, 